Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be changing some fates in this fight. We are going to be reenacting the Battle of the Denmark Strait and for <laughs> and Ultimate Admiral's Dreadnoughts. If you guys don't know, the, uh, the um, Battle of the Denmark Strait is where the Bismarck and the Prince of e Ogin, I guess that's how you say it, I don't want to like mispronounce it because you guys will get triggered if I pronounce it incorrectly. Um, basically, this battle took place in the middle of, um, of 1941, where the Brit well, where, where basically the Bismarck became the most highly valued target of the Royal Navy at the, at a one point in time of its service, because it managed to sink one. Well, basically, the Bismarck was able to withstand a lot of like attacks and kept going, but managed to sink the HMS Hood by a lucky shot with the magazine because due to her like a weak spot in her and the hood's design and also managed to do some damage here and there but also but later on was later to be sunk by allied well, by swordfishes and later on the rodney and the and the king george v showing up and later on and and so in this fight we're going to be doing a reenactment in a way where we're going to basically and we're going to see how much we can do with stands so we got a battleship and a battle cruiser we got two heavy cruisers. The battleship will represent the Prince of Wales. The battle cruiser will represent the HMS Hood. Well, the two heavy cruisers will represent the Sulphic and the um, what's the other ship? Now I don't want to go full. Cr I don't want to go super crazy on it, but I would like to. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna go super heavy like uh, we're, we're gonna do like the regular modern battleship because we're not gonna do a super battleship because I don't think the Bismarck wasn't that that heavy to be called a super battleship. So we're gonna use a typical modern battleship. Let's see if we can do it 30 knots here. Uh, yeah, let's call it a solid 30 knots because that's what the Bismarck was. Okay, we don't have... What? Why did everything reset? Why did everything just reset? Yeah, everything just reset! What the hell? All right, so we got 42 some to work with. So let's get the main tower in here. But yeah, she is going to rule the waves and lead the Craig's Marine. So, so we probably want to go 16 inch. Let's do dual. Yes, I like this. I like this a lot. There we go. Okay, we might need to go down to 15 inch, maybe. Perhaps. Or we could probably just adjust it to 70 tons. Secondaries. We can't fit much here. It's going to have a poor view. I don't know if we should have to play. Uh, we can put 4 inches here. I like that. That's nice. Four inches are really nice. We can get four inches there, and then we can get a four, and then we can get torpedoes here. The problem is, once we're done with this design, we're gonna have to like make some like design the armor here. And we want don't want to make it too weak or anything like that. So, uh, secondary. Let's put the torpedo launchers over here. So there you go. It's decked out with four inch and five inch batteries. It only has one five inch, which kind of sucks. But what can you do? 
with when it comes to stuff like this. So let's get we can probably get a five inch over here. Alrighty. As long as it has, I like how it has torpedoes, so the rest we can do is put some armor in this thing. Okay. So I like this setup. It looks nice. Let's change to oxygen. Okay, we do. Okay, apparently oxygen puts more weight on you. Fast. We can do fast. Electrica would be nice, actually. All right, let's do that. We're gonna name this ship the Hidden Hindenburg. Even no, this is secretly gonna be the Super Bismarck, I guess you can say, or the how the Bismarck should have like been. We're gonna name it the Hindenburg as the it's the namesake behind of uh, Paul von Hindenburg, which was the previ the last president of the German Reich before Adolf Hitler decides um, took over like the Third Reich and became well dictator or the Fuhrer in the in World War Two. So we're gonna name it after the Paul von Hindenburg. So without further ado, let's get right on and see if this ship will become the king of the ocean. So we're gonna keep AI on. So we have the Thuringia, Thuringia, Yaya, uh, Thuringia. I don't know how to say, pronounce that. That is very freaky. But uh, yeah, we have the Hindenburg. Which looks like a beast made of steel. <laughs> this guy's is, this is gonna be, it's gonna be referenced a lot in this video. So if you guys are gonna if you sit back and relax, we're gonna be doing a lot of this. So this ship looks a, like seriously, it's beautiful. Without further ado, we're gonna get right into the battle of the Denmark Strait here. Oh my God, he looks like a beast. He's a thick boy. That is a thick heavy cruiser right there. If I do say so, my boy. This is like if the Americans decided to say, hey, if the Germans are like, hey, American, uh, USA, would you like to design our heavy cruiser for us? And I'm like, sure. And then they just deck out with all the secondaries they can. And, um, you know, because it, they have, because in the U.S., they, everybody has the right to bear arms. And so why not get every, sea, like, seaworthy crew member on board the ship to get their own gun? So, there you go. That's the, thur the Thuringia for you. So, let's get right on it and get to the actual fight. So, it just might take a while. I, should, I don't know why I have it spawned so far away, but... Okay, it looks like this is like a Rod... This is like a Nelson class. Or, uh, so this is like the Rod... So, this is a Rodney, apparently. <laughs> this is gonna be the Rodney, honestly. And we have what looks like... <laughs> this is a... This looks like the hood. This definitely looks like a hood. <laughs> Wait, what are you carrying? Oh my god, you don't, so you're like a tone. Oh god, we're already being attacked by the enemy. The, the Japanese, they're like, hey, let's help design your, uh, since you made uh, our Congo class, uh, battle cruisers, let's help on designing your, uh, battle cruiser. And so they like, they would say, let's bring the concept of our Tone class cruisers and put it onto your battle cruiser. And then we're gonna call it, well, and then we're just put all your main batteries at the very front of your ship, at the bow, and then we'll call it a day. And then everything else is just a bunch of secondaries. And there you go. Oh god, we're, we're not even in range, and we're like, being fired upon. Okay, hold on. The battle is on! Pride of a nation, a beast made of steel. <laughs> oh god. Now we don't, we don't, haven't seen the heavy cruisers, we only saw the battleships. Oh god. It's just, I've just seen a hood, like, I can't believe it looked like a hood, except the turret, the main armament formation there. Oh god, this is scary, honestly, not gonna lie. Now, where's our cruisers? There's one of the cruisers. That does, like, that looks pretty standard for a heavy cruiser. Oh god, we're on fire! That's not good, um, curses, they foiled us. Okay! Lucky shot those sons those bastards This is not going out too well now are we okay our heavy cruiser is gonna get into some action here This could get interesting I run I didn't I want to speed up to where we get we can identify the warship We're getting hit They get more hits than we are I Feel like this is a uh, British bias right here continue your attacks Avoid the fire come on Hindenburg, you can do this. Just wait until our secondaries get in, and then they're gonna get some real damage here. Do they even have to put us on the cruisers too? 
No, they don't have torpedoes, I don't think. Nope, they don't. Oh, no, they do have torpedoes. Only, like, dual, perp, dual torpedoes right there. 83. Nice, 63%. It's the Royal Alfred that's leading the charge. And then we're going to soon identify the battleship over here. Oh, God, she's now taking on water. She is now flooding. Good, Anakin. Good. This game is not like that. Here, uh, secondaries. Alt, right click. Secondaries fire at the heavy cruiser while you, our main batteries are firing at the Royal Alfred. What about the Dunk? Oh, this is the Duncan. He has 16 inch batteries. How is he lighter than I am? Like, how is he lighter than that freaking Hindenburg when I had 16 inch batteries? He has more, he has the same roughly ranked argument here, like seriously. Did, does he have like paper thin armor or something? I, I don't understand. So we got the graft done. Which is about 13,000 tons. A little bit lighter than the, than our heavy cruiser over there. Okay. So these will represent the Suffolk and the Norfolk. We're getting pretty too close for comfort in my opinion. Oh god. Um... If we can get a solid hit on the Royal Alfred, that'd be nice. This is very intense. Uh, let's see what happens here. Oh god, Hindenburg's taking some hits. I don't think our torpedoes are gonna do any. Are not gonna get close enough to the Royal Alfred. Nope. Not even close. Oh god, we've been torpedoed. Both of us have been torpedoed. Oh god, this is not good. I was hoping they had 14 inch batteries and we might have a gun advantage here, but we're pretty much like on par with these guys. More flooding. There we go. The Royal Alfred's taking a huge beating right now. She ha is having a lot of engine trouble. I mean, I would love if your uh, magazine would have detonated and then uh, I can focus on the battleship over here. Because the battleship is what's causing me the problem. Oh god. <laughs> We're about to collide with our ship with our ships here. Oh god, this is bad. We are in a bad position here, folks. Battle cruiser isn't going down. Okay, more flooding, nice. I like flooding. But our ships are taking heavy damage, especially our heavy cruiser here. We're, we're technically withdrawing. All right, focus on your fire on the heavy cruiser, since you can't really do much of anything. So there you go. Yeah, I would like you to get him out of the way, out of the picture. If you can get this guy out of the way, that'll be de fine and dandy. Oh come on, Royal Alfred. This guy does not want to go down. Royal Alfred, sink! Damn you! Oh lord. Oh man. Okay. 69%. 90 Okay, at least we're float we're still floatable. Our torpedoes are pushing him away. <gasps> we might get a hit here. Oh yeah. Did that do anything? Torpedo hits 100 damage. All right, she's taking on water, right? Yes, there we go. We got one solid torpedo hit. Ooh, they might it's a fa they're fast li boats. I mean, fast torpedoes. So I like the electric. I like the electric torpedoes. They are fast. They hit hard, but they just have short range. That's the thing. The, the Royal Alfred is definitely like not having a great day. She's like in a very bad list. The Hindenburg is on fire. Oh, flooding. Massive damage right here. Oh, God. That's a lot of damage. Now, that's a lot of damage. Oh, God. Uh, Are you going to go down, Royal Alfred? Please do, because I would like to deal one less heavy cruiser right now. I mean, one less battleship right now, or 16-inch gun ship. She's at a very bad list to where she can't really aim her battery, so we could... Decide to switch batteries and focus on the Duncan. Too much water and she won't be able to survive. So that will be one less to deal with. 
Okay. There we go. Royal Alfred's now sinking beneath the waves. Why are my five inch bat why are they focused on this on the CA? Okay. Focus on the battleship, damn it, Hindenburg. So oh, thank god. Come on, Hindenburg, you got this. You can do this, Hindenburg. You have definitely seen better days. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We've a magazine's gone up. Oh no, that's not good. Bismarck is going down, and the Hindenburg has just got suffered a huge hit. What a lucky shot! The battleship's not even getting any damage. What the heck? Yeah, run away, Hindenburg. Run away! Get the back to port! That is not good. We are not... Now, this has got real now, because now... The Hindenburg is at 14% structural damage. This could be ending really bad for the Hindenburg if... Another critical hit does something to her. In terms of that... That could do that much damage... If the battleship doesn't get the lucky shot... Hopefully we don't get that situation. We don't come across to that situation. Oh god. What are you doing, Hindenburg? He's she's making the charge? No, what are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed, Hindenburg! Oh god. Hindenburg really is like it's like if I'm going down, you're going down with me at this. Thirteen percent. Eighty-three percent on the on the Duncan. Please, for the love of God, sink that ship! There's fire all over the place on the Hindenburg. We're doing everything we can to stop that battleship. And no! Two percent? Where did that hit from? I guess the fate of the of the Bismarck will never be Oh man. This is sad. I mean this is the first failure we had in the in the Ultimate Admirals series. Oh no. Because the, at this rate, one solid torpedo hit could end it all. And a good strike from the, the Duncan could finish it all. So it's just a matter of, like, who l we'll see how much we can do before we go down. Well, she's gone. The Hindenburg is going down. A cruel fate that once lived. Oh man, this, this is sad. Just to see it go down like this. It suffered so much pain. Prince Wagon's gotta get the heck out of here. Well, not the Prince Wagon, but we only took down one battleship. We're gonna have to make a return to this challenge because I just leaving it on a sad note like that. It's like it's like a curse, like. In a way, I guess it, this will be a, a to be continued, folks. Because I was surprised. I thought that we were actually might win this, but that lucky shot from the magazine ended it basically, and we could have survived in, the, in this case. But I guess sometimes you just got you just gotta be very careful. But without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If, if you guys have any more uh, suggestions for this series, please leave please leave some comments below and give some feedback. Until then, I'll see you guys next time, folks. Bye bye.